Inside the plasma lamp is a noble gas. Different noble gases will create a different colour. In the centre of the lamp is an electrode. When electricity is passed through the electrode at relatively high voltages, 2 to 5 kilovolts, this voltage then excites the atoms in the electrode giving off radio frequency energy, about 35 kilohertz. This energy then passes into the gas ionising it. The electrode is in a separate glass ball in the centre of the main ball. It transfers its energy from the electrode to the gas through the inner glass ball by capacitive coupling. Capacitive coupling is the transfer of energy by means of the capacitance between two nodes, where the capacitance is a charge gradient between two surfaces, that is, a change in electric potential. When the charge builds up, the electric discharge will discharge through the noble gas, ionising it as it goes. That is, it will create a plasma, since all a plasma is, is ionised gas. The atoms in the ionised gas become excited, and as a result they lose energy by emitting a photon, hence the light we see. Where one places the hand on the surface of the plasma lamp, it provides a path of lower resistance for the radio frequency energy to pass through to ground, since, since it is easier for the energy to move through the human body than it is through the air. An interesting thing about plasmas is they generate their own magnetic field. And this is why we observe it as streams or filaments coming out to the edge of the plasma lamp. However, when you provide the energy a path of less resistance, the majority of the current will flow through that path of least resistance. Thus the one path will have more current flowing through it and it creates a self-focusing effect within the magnetic field, causing the filament to become thinner and more focused. When the fluorescent tube is brought near to the plasma lamp, it starts to glow. This is because the low frequency radio energy is exciting the atoms inside the fluorescent tube, causing it to give off photons. As you can see, when I touch the plasma lamp with my fingers, the fluorescent tube does not glow as brightly. This is because a lot of the current or energy is travelling through me to the ground rather than into the air, and thus exciting the gas in the fluorescent tube. Thanks for watching and if you found this video useful or interesting don't forget to hit that like button below.